All right, so I'm back, and today we're going to be doing another rant of the week. And this one is something that has bugged all of us. I know it has. Don't try and deny it. And that is this. The, the curse of the yellow. Um, this needs to stop. And I'm sending this message out to both Hasbro and the third party companies. Stop it. We're done. <laughs> okay, I mean, honestly, um, you know, when the Classics Bumblebee first came out, I was so excited. I was like, I, I haven't seen a Bumblebee figure or heard of a Bumblebee figure since G1. Um, I can't remember if it came out in G2 or not. But uh, re regardless, it's like, I, I didn't think we'd ever see Bumblebee again. Yeah, we got Optimus, Megatron, Starscream. Um, and we got those before that. And then we got them in the Classics line. It was awesome to see them again in classic style. I never thought we'd see Bumblebee again. And I was really excited. And then the movie came. And now, as you have all seen, I don't try and deny this, you've all gone into a Walmart or a Toys R Us or a Target and seen nothing but a sea of yellow. This has got to be the worst. I, I don't understand why they keep making it. I really don't. I, I mean, yeah, kids love Bumblebee, yay! Then why the f fuck is he crowding our stores? I mean, it, it, he's clearly not selling very well because there's thousands of them everywhere. I mean, my God. This is just... It's gotten re insane. Um, you know, since this first Bumblebee came out, and I'm not even going to talk about the Legends, because that's a different style of figures, and it attracts a different style of audience. You know, younger kids want to play with the little toys more than the uh, more complex ones. I understand that, and you can make as many bumblebees as you want in the Cyberverse lines. But everything else needs to stop. Okay, uh, so we got the Classics Bumblebee. This is not Classics Bumblebee. This is like the Reveal the Shield Bumblebee. Um, so... They repainted this one. Um, let's see, we had the Classics Bumblebee. Um, uh, there's the Hen K one, United. Um, there was the Legendary Hero um, Bumblebee. Um, the Reveal the Shield. Um, and I'm not going to even start going into Cliff Jumper and stuff like that, but um, I think that might be it. So at least five repaints of Bumblebee in this mold. Just this mold of Bumblebee. And let's see, what was it? 2000... I can't remember. When did the Classics line start? I'm trying to see if there's a date on him somewhere. There usually is. I just don't know where they put him anymore. Uh... No, oh, he doesn't even, he doesn't have a date. Um, I, I can't remember. Um, when the classic lines first appeared. It's on Optimus here. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. 2006. So, since 2006, we've had five repaints of this mold. Okay. Okay, that's bad enough, as far as I'm concerned. Then the movie comes out, and let's see, we had the, uh, um, there's the Classics Camaro Bumblebee, then there was the newer Camaro Bumblebee, um, which got repaint, uh, at least two or three times, um, in, in the first movie line, because that's, that's what they specialized in, okay, we'll just do a slight different deco, um, and of course, you know, there's also the Clip Jumper and all that, but, 
Okay. Revenge of the Fallen came out. Um, we got another repaint of the original Bumblebee. Um, then we got a new molded Bumblebee. Um, repainted that one. Battle Blades Bumblebee. Repainted that one. Because um, they, they did the Bumblebee and then Shadow Bumblebee. so Or Stealth Bumblebee. Um, so th there's what? Ten? Um, then there was the... Uh, mech tech one for dark of the moon and then there's the shadow mech tech one uh, uh or stealth whatever i don't i don't know i don't care um we've already seen there's at least two coming out for age of extension extinction i believe um then then we had human alliance uh and then there was like that can't i don't i don't remember what it was called but it was essentially a leader class bumblebee and i think it got repurposed as a leader class in japan um and i think we actually did get a leader Did, didn't we get a leader class bumblebee i don't know and, and so what that's 15 bumblebees for the movie at least um and then animated came out and we got umpteen billion bumblebees from there um <laughs> And they were all just the same mold and repainted. There was like, there was Bumblebee, there was Stealth Bumblebee, there was Elite Guard Bumblebee, there was, uh, I mean, it was ridiculous. And then Hasbro does Transformers Prime, and they do the first edition Bumblebee, which actually wasn't a bad toy, to be honest. Um, and, you know, a lot of these toys weren't bad. But the problem is, is there's just too many goddamn bumblebees in the world. Um, so Transformers Prime came out, and then there was the first edition one, which instantly became a shelf warmer. I, mean, I picked it up for like eight, seven bucks on Big Bad Toy Store. Um, so if you get a new figure on Big Bad Toy Store for discounted, it's a shelf warmer somewhere. Um, I know I didn't see it right away at or around my place, um, but then later on, you know, when Toys R Us reissued it, everywhere, and then he was all over Ross. I mean, first edition Bumblebee, there were shelves of him at Ross. I was like, what the fuck? There was nobody else at the time, but just first edition Bumblebees. And then there's the R.I.D. Bumblebee, and then there was the Stealth R.I.D. Bumblebee, and then there was the hot shot and then there was the slightly retooled into weaponized um weaponized uh beast hunters bumblebee and then there was the weaponizer bumblebee and then the repaint of the weaponizer bumblebee so that he could talk and then there was the shadow weaponizer bumblebee good god <laughs> nobody else i mean optimus gets a lot of repaints too uh star scream gets a ton of repaints but half the time when Star Scream gets repainted, and not even half the time, I would say 99% of the time, when Star Scream gets repainted, it's a different character. It's, you know, oh, this is Blue Star Scream, so we're going to call it Thundercracker. Oh, it's a Black Star Scream, so it's Skywarp. Bumblebee doesn't have that. It, originally, he did. You know, okay, um, this is a slight retool and, and red, so that's Cliff Jumper. Or um, this is a yellow Cliff Jumper, and we're calling it Hubcap. Um, you know, there were, there were so many, you know, they didn't do that back in the day. There wasn't umpteen billion different types of fucking Bumblebee. And, you know, and there there was a time where the Reveal the Shield Bumblebee was on a shelf. I remember seeing it. Next to um, one of the Prime Bumblebees and next to a movie Bumblebee. Three different generations of Bumblebee in a way. All sit next to each other, all collecting dust. It's it, it's insane. Um, so let's see what else was there. Um, I mean, it, it, it's just everywhere, everywhere. I I cannot stand it. It takes up shelf space. They need to stop making so many fucking bumblebees. You know, oh, and then there's the Generations bumblebees. There's the um, War for Cybertron bumblebee, which got repainted like three times. One with more neon colors, one with more of a goldish color. 
Uh, and then there's the Generations Bumblebee, um, which is the IDW style Bumblebee, who again got uh, more neon paint scheme, and then um, and then kind of goldish paint scheme, and then of course he gets repainted into Nightbeat, I think it was. Uh, I can't remember now. Um, something like that, but it is just like really stop making Bumblebee. Just stop. Ah, and then, and then we get into the third party companies. And you, you'd think that any of these intelligent third party company would be like, oh, market's oversaturated with Bumblebee. We should stay clear of that. We should, you know, they, they're, they get our money because we buy figures from them that are not being made by Hasbro. So why would you think that they one Art Feather, I think it was, um, made a Bumblebee um, using this exact mold, um, just reshelled it with a uh, um, a classics um, Volkswagen Bug. Decent idea. Um, would it be worth? You know, passing on a five dollar figure that you can—I mean, I say five dollar. Originally, he was ten, and they tried to sell it for fifteen. But you can find it for five dollars almost anywhere. Uh, <laughs> I mean, seriously, five bucks. They're clearancing all over the place because there's so many goddamn bumblebees. But why would you pass on the five dollar one with more of an updated car mode? Which you know, I mean, I can understand wanting the classics car mode. But to have the reshell and not transform very well and spend, I think it was like 60 bucks on him. Who would do that? Um, iGear made a um, Legends class Bumblebee to fit into their Minibot line, which I, I believe was just, it just look, to me, just looked like... Um, a knockoff of the actual Generations Bumblebee, or the actual Legends Bumblebee that we were getting. So I don't know why the why they would want to knock off a character that we all have. Um, and, and then there's the Generations uh, Legends class Bumblebee um, that comes with the Target Master. Um, that one actually is pretty good. I I, I did a review on him. Um, and I'm still torn on which one I want on my display shelf. I'm waiting to see how that Legends line pans out before I make the decision. Anyway, um, okay, so iGear does one. And it's like, what are you doing? Um, Toy World, um, the guys that gave us, you know, Orion, which was a good figure. Um, don't get me wrong. It wasn't a necessary figure by any means, um, but um, it, it was a good figure. Um, and they have given us the throttle bots, and apparently they're going to make us a gold bug, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that idea of a new gold bug mold. But then they make a bumblebee figure. Why? Just why? I mean, yeah, he looks better than this. But still, I'm, I'm, I'm still questioning why anybody would pass a $5 figure that does a good job of representing the character for a 90, you know, 70, 80 dollar figure um, and just be like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll just get him. Why would you, why would anybody want to do that when the market is so oversaturated and everyone's like, well, it's more of a masterpiece. Well, there's a masterpiece coming. Ah, and then, and then there's another company that I'm, I'm seeing uh, rumors and promo pictures for um, a, a Cybertronian version of Bumblebee with the, the long wings, and it's like, yeah, that looks cool. I'm not going to buy another goddamn Bumblebee. I don't give a shit how awesome it looks, but I'm not buying it. And then, <laughs> Impossible Toys, like they're dying breath as a company, they release. A bumblebee, um, a little mini bot bumblebee that looks like garbage. I mean, 
just look that up. That thing looks absolutely horrible. It was the dying breath of a company, and it and it and that right there made me think that company deserved to fucking die. And they just and then they made an entire line of them. I mean, there's like gazillion and a half of them. Um, you know, there's blue ones, purple ones, black ones, pr red ones, yellow ones, gold ones. I mean, I was just like, oh my god, why? Ah, ah. Mm. And then, and then, do you find out that in the next um, Transformers cartoon, we're going to be getting Bumblebee, maybe as the leader of the Autobots? And again, why? Just why? Why is this happening? Why? Who is this mysterious, uh, you know, entity that they're catering to? Because I don't, I don't see it anywhere. Uh, you know, maybe it's different for other people, but I hear, you know, rumor, or, you know, I hear the horror that people see of the sea of yellow when they go into this toy store. I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one that sees this. You know, they say it's, it's because kids like it. But if kids like it, why does it not leave the shelves? It's everywhere. You know, give me 20 bucks. I'll go to Walmart, any Walmart in, in Colorado, and I will find a bumblebee. It's, it's not a question of if they're there. It's a matter of just where they put them. Because, I mean, the shelves are just seas of bumblebee and I've just that that has been ah that has been the biggest thorn in my side since the classic came out because you know it was so hard to find a classic bumblebee when it first came out I, I was looking everywhere for him um you know I, I found Starscream right away no problem there found Optimus right away no problem there found Megatron I didn't even buy Megatron right away I was like oh, I don't want that he looks terrible, and eventually I picked him up anyway, because I'm that kind of guy. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll pass on the classic style Transformers, and then later on, it's like, hmm. <laughs> I get home, and I'm like, I should have picked that up. Well, might as well get back in the car. But I had a hard time finding the Bumblebee the first time it came out, but now it's just there's so many Bumblebees. I mean, seriously, who is this mysterious person that is buying up these bumblebees to make Hasbro go oh that's enough of a market for us to continue you know I don't see it like I said I see kids you know when kids are at the store I, every now and then I hear somebody oh bumblebee bumblebee and they'll buy a bumblebee you know or get their parents to but that doesn't explain why there's you know why I go to the store looking for like you know, maybe I was looking for Dreadwing. I, I know I was looking for him for a while there, and every time I picked it up, I was like, I don't know if I want this because it doesn't fit in my collection very well. Um, but I'd go out and I'd look for the class, uh, you know, the Dreadwing, and I'd have to, you know, go through all the Transformers, Prime, Beast Hunter, Bumblebees. You know, look back there. Okay, there's nobody there, and look. Oh, there's the generation section. Okay, go through all the generations, Bumblebee. I mean, I'm I'm like literally swimming in bumblebees at Target, looking for one Decepticon, and there is no Decepticon in the entire store. And it's just like, what is going on? And, and you know, there's the bumblebee drillers, there's the bumblebee play sets. I mean, there are bumblebees everywhere. And it's just like, oh my. And then there's these big plastic bumblebees that don't transform and they, they just. Why? Why? <laughs> I mean, seriously. I mean, I. Okay, so question of the day, because I, I can do this for another 20 minutes, rant about fucking bumblebee. Um. And and other characters too. I mean, Optimus has gotten there too at some points. But so the question of the day is: Have you guys been in the Sea of Yellow? <laughs> have you had to sift through piles of Bumblebee looking for a toy? Let me know. That's it.